Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting system of equations. Equations are x square plus y square minus xy equal to 61 over x plus y and x plus y plus xy equal to negative 18 over x plus y minus 1. We have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So addition of x and y, it should not be equal to 0. This is one condition. Now I will begin by writing equation numbers first. And let me multiply equation number 1 both sides as x plus y is non-zero. So I can multiply both sides with x plus y. So I will be writing our equation 1 as x plus y times x square plus y square minus xy equal to 61. This is one algebraic identity. A cube minus B cube, A plus B, A square plus B square minus AB. So I will be writing X cube plus Y cube equal to 61. Equation 1 converted into this one. Now equation number 2. I will begin with one manipulation. Add 1 to both sides first. So it will become 1 plus X plus Y plus XY equal to negative 18 over x plus y. We have taken this minus 1 to the left. Now I will take common. 1 plus x is there. If I will take y common from these two, so I will be writing 1 plus x again. So this will become minus 18 over x plus y. Now 1 plus x, 1 plus y. 1 plus x is overall common. So factorization 1 plus x times 1 plus y equal to minus 18 over x plus y or 1 plus x times 1 plus y times x plus y equal to negative 18. So now our system of equation converted into two simple equations. Equation number one will be x cube plus y cube equal to 61. This is equation number one now. And this is our second equation of the system. 1 plus x times 1 plus y times x plus y equal to negative 18. Let's solve. So I will write here first x cube plus y cube equal to 61. Equation number 2, 1 plus x times 1 plus y times x plus y equal to negative 18. Now I will use one algebraic identity or formula. It is a plus b plus c whole cube. Let me write here one very powerful identity. Formula is a cube plus b cube plus c cube plus 3 times a plus b, b plus c, c plus a. Now I will use substitution. Substitution is let us consider a equal to x, b equal to y, and c equal to 1. See what will happen to this formula. So I will write this formula as x plus y plus 1 whole cube equal to x cube plus y cube plus 1 cube. So 1 plus 3 times a plus b it will become x plus y then y plus 1 or 1 plus y then 1 plus x respectively. Now you can see only the section where we will use this one, this result. This is our equation number 2. So I will substitute here minus 18. Replace this portion by minus 18. And x cube plus y cube from equation number 1 we can replace by 61. So let's see what will happen. x plus y plus 1 whole cube will become 61 
प्लस वन प्लस थ्री टाइम्स माइनस एटीन सो आई कैन राइट नाउ एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस वन होल क्यूब इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू इट इज माइनस थ्री टाइम्स एटीन फिफ्टी फोर सो दिस इज एट एट वी कैन राइट टू क्यूब नाउ यू कैन सी पावर्स आर सेम एक्सपोनेंट्स आर सेम सो बेसिस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू ईच अदर सो आई विल इक्वेट एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस वन इक्वल टू टू और एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू वन नाउ सिस्टम इज वेरी सिंपल वन इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस सिस्टम इज एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब इक्वल टू सिक्सटी वन द ओरिजिनल इक्वेशन इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड सेकेंड इक्वेशन वी विल कंसिडर एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू वन लेट मी राइट हेयर एक्स क्यूब प्लस वाई क्यूब इक्वल टू सिक्सटी वन एंड एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल टू वन very simple system so there are many ways possible so the simplest way is to find out y from equation 2 and put in equation 1 plug in in equation 1 let's use algebraic formulas this time so i will consider the squaring of second equation so x plus y whole square is equal to 1 square from here i can write x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 1 or x square plus y square equal to 1 minus 2xy now i will consider equation 1 and i will expand using a q plus b q formula so i can write x plus y times x square plus y square minus xy equal to 61 now x plus y is 1 so i will be writing here 1 then in bracket i will be writing x square plus y square as 1 minus 2xy minus xy equal to 61 1 minus 3xy equal to 61 or 3xy equal to 1 minus 61 so minus 60 or xy equal to negative 20 now the system is converted into the simplest one x plus y equal to 1 sum of roots product of roots minus 20 so let us frame one quadratic or simply calculate y from here minus 20 over x and substitute in the first one let us do that so i will write x minus 20 over x Equal to one. X square minus twenty equal to x. X square minus x minus twenty equal to zero. Simple quadratic equation. And remember our condition: summation of x plus y it should not be equal to zero. Let's solve this quadratic first. Then we will check as per our condition. X square minus x minus twenty equal to zero. Let us use factorization method. So twenty we can see as five times four, and if I will take the difference, so it will match minus five plus four. So let me split our middle term minus five x plus four x. Product is minus twenty, so it will be true. Zero. Take x common from first two. X minus five. Four common from last two. X minus five equal to zero. Factorization will be x minus five times x plus four equal to zero. So from here x minus five equal to zero. Conclusion is x equal to five. And once x plus four equal to zero, conclusion will be x equal to negative four. Let's find out y value also. So I will be writing x plus y. Anything we can apply x plus y equal to one. 
So once x equal to 5, 5 plus y equal to 1, y will be negative 4. And once x equal to negative 4, I will write minus 4 plus y equal to 1, y will be equal to 5, vice versa. So here I will write for x 5, y equal to negative 4. And for x equal to minus 4, y will be equal to 5. So our final solution becomes, in ordered pair, if I am writing, I will be writing x, y. I will write 5 comma negative 4. And second solution, I will be writing negative 4 comma 5. Equations are symmetrical. So it will verify. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe friends. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.